<laughs> I'm sick, but he's still making me train. So I asked for a massage today. My normal pet store didn't have it. The grocery store didn't have it. He's now saying no one else has it. Yeah. If you look at the machine you stand on, it's going to give you your bath. Curious about what it's like living in Panama? Are you wondering if living here is different from your life back home? Well, this video has you covered. I'm taking you along with me while I go grocery shopping, doctor's visits, the vet, restaurants, visits with my trainer, and more. Hello, my name is Aisha and I navigate life with cerebral palsy. I'm bringing you pieces of Panama to your screen until you can experience it for yourself. Welcome to a day in the life of an expat in Panama. Let's go. Well, if you can tell by the sound of my voice, I've been sick. I tested negative for COVID about a month before filming this video, but then got sick a few weeks after, but more on that later. One of my friends ordered some COVID tests from an online pharmacy here, and it arrived in like four Ziploc bags. Like this is kind of different. So, instructions, let's see. They're in English or Spanish. That's for you. And English. Whoop. All right. See how it goes. Murphy was more than happy to pay me a visit, and as soon as I tested negative, the next day I had to take my cat to the vet. He was losing a lot of weight and was throwing up a lot the night before. Well, my almost 16-year-old cat now has diabetes, hyperthyroidism, and liver disease. Panama, while it is pet friendly, it's hard out here for some cat owners. Thus far, they don't seem to have cat thyroid medicine, and it can be hard to consistently find certain items. For example, I'll hoard their cat litter whenever I see that they have it in stock. My normal pet store didn't have it. This grocery store didn't have it. He's now saying no one else has it. So I was only able to find the drive through Perhaps at what? At several five stores. All right, so I'm that sold it in the drive So apparently, Molly has nine lives. After several vet visits for medicine and IV treatments, and me wondering if he was gonna make it through the night, I woke up the next morning to this outside my bedroom door. I guess he's feeling better. For me to feel better after a few rough days with Molly, my friend accompanied me for a meal at Azahar, which is a popular restaurant here in Panama City. It states that it offers a signature cuisine with a Western European cut and Asian influences. I always enjoy the food and views here. I ordered the tomato cream soup and ravioli filled with burrata and sun-dried tomatoes. After dinner, we made a quick stop at the casino and I won a little bit. I'm starting to interview more people again for upcoming videos, so after an expat meetup, I asked some friends a few questions. Stay tuned to the channel for future videos sharing what they had to say. The biggest thing I've learned about myself is that I'm Brazilian. So, how I feel about my kids being raised with them, I love it. And I would never want them to be raised anywhere else. So there's been a horrible smell coming out of the half bathroom in my apartment. We had the drain cleaned, we sealed the toilet, installed a new pee trap, but the smell is still there. Fingers crossed we can get to the bottom of it. I was invited to a Panamanian wedding by a friend from my high school. What I enjoyed most about this besides seeing my friend, and ironically one from college, what a small world, was that during the service, I felt like I was in Jamaica. And it gave me a glimpse into a bit of what my ancestors might have experienced when living here. It was a special night indeed. Play sigh. I feel sick again. So I went to my general practitioner to see what it was and I had to get a blood test for proper diagnosis. My doctor is in Pacifica Salud Hospital and he wrote a script for me to get the medicine for a shot that I needed. So I went downstairs to the pharmacy to fill it. Downstairs to the pharmacy to get one of these medications that he's gonna administer as a shot. Oh, 
I want you to put that in there. And once it was filled, I went back upstairs for the shot, which I thought was gonna be in my arm. And for the first time that I can remember, I received a shot in my butt. It wasn't fun. Like, not fun at all. So, how do you feel after your shot? Her. Hey, love. Once I was feeling better, I ended up finishing my annual Well Women's exams and had an ultrasound as well. So after living here for a year and a half and only using Ubers or friends with cars to get around, I took a tour that teaches you how to take the Metro and buses here. At the time of the recording, it is a free tour and she does them when she wants to. So you evict change only, so say okay. And then your dollar go, two dollars go in that spot right there. Your card back in there. Okay, and then say a recharge. Okay, so today, I'm taking this along with me on a driving tour so I can get footage being guys to see what it's like um, driving around Panama City. So because I was sick for so long and couldn't record a video without sounding like I couldn't breathe or Mr. Snuffleupagus, I had to pivot and think of ways to provide you with content during these times. And I decided to go back to how I used to end my videos a few years ago by just showing me driving around to show you what Panama is like. So get ready for my series on driving around different countries called On the Road Again, and I'll be starting with the Panama edition. I see working out as a necessary evil, and I need help with adapted exercises due to my cerebral palsy. In true Panama fashion, there's another parade. This one was the parade for the Carnival Queens. After carnival parties ending 4 a.m. five nights in a row. Again, five nights in a row. I was happy to see that this one ended at 10. In all seriousness, the floats were gorgeous. And what's a parade here in Panama without fireworks? Pardon the interruption. Unlock a world of exclusive content by becoming an AbroadAbility channel member. We are bringing you behind the scenes of life abroad with unscripted content that doesn't make it into the regular videos. Watch intimate glimpses into my daily life as an expat with cerebral palsy, including doctor's visits, ATM and bank runs, shopping, markets, holidays, and more. All recorded just for you. Welcome to the AbroadAbility membership family and thanks to those who have already joined. See you soon behind the scenes of my life as an expat. It's them in word, it's them in word. Pray to the day. Help. You're helping Aisha record for her lovely channel, Abroad Ability. Shout out to Abroad Ability. However, she's staring mean to her stamp. So, if she actually do anything. If you enjoyed this type of content, consider liking and sharing this video, subscribing, or becoming a channel member to see more of my life behind the scenes as an expat. See you in the next video.